In the Jackson Academy for Global Studies, we believe it is necessary for all students to be globally competent. Globally competent students possess four key skills that make them ready for the world. In our program, we teach students to investigate the world. And it starts with being aware, curious, and interested about the world and how it works. Students are able to ask globally significant questions, analyze evidence from multiple sources, and develop an argument that draws defensible conclusions. Globally competent students also recognize perspectives. Students recognize that they have a perspective and someone else may or may not share it. They weigh all sides and from that incorporate different perspectives into their own point of view. Globally competent students also effectively communicate their ideas with diverse audiences, including through the use of technology. Speaking another language is important for collaborating across borders. And finally, they take action. By applying what they have learned in our program, they can translate their ideas into appropriate actions to discover solutions for both local and global challenges. Here at JAGS, our motto is our mission. Every student ready for the world. Through the development of these four key skills, we will achieve our mission and improve our school, our community, our country, and our world, one student at a time. In this video, you're gonna hear from students, staff, and experts as they describe in depth the four key skills that make us globally competent and why that is important. Globally competent students are aware, curious, and interested in learning about the world and how it works. How we teach fosters an awareness, curiosity, and interest in investigating the world and how it works. We teach our students to investigate the world through SAGE. 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 SAGE fosters an environment where students are active participants and accountable for their own learning rather than being passive recipients of lessons and lectures. SAGE. What does SAGE stand for? 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 S stands for student choice. We believe that offering students choices in their learning deepens their engagement. Student choice contributes to a collaborative environment in which teachers and students understand the expectations and share responsibility and ownership for all learners. A is for authentic experiences. We believe that when performance assessments are based on real world skills and projects, students have a range of opportunities to develop and demonstrate global competence in a way that connects with their experience of the world. G is for global significance. Students are more aware than ever of the world's problems. When they engage with meaningful issues they see all around them, they gain a sense that what they are learning has relevance. They are more engaged in their learning and more motivated to take action. E is for exhibit to real audience. Presenting work to a real audience gives students opportunities to hear and respond to meaningful feedback that goes beyond the rubrics and grades. They develop the capacity to learn from feedback and to revise and improvise their work and their competence. Sage. Globally competent students recognize that they have a particular perspective and that others may or may not share it. Recognizing perspectives is an important aspect of the Jackson Academy for Global Studies. Each year, we grow in our ability to recognize perspectives through projects and travel. Freshmen build the foundation of global competency at Camp Heifer. At Camp Heifer, students are placed into the Heifer Global Village for an overnight simulation. Students are assigned to different countries and then placed into authentic model houses from their designated countries. Each group is given a, a limited amount of resources. 
As no group can succeed using only the material they are given, their success relies on their ability to recognize the needs and interests of other countries. Through this experience, students learn to recognize and respect others' perspectives while working towards a common goal. This year has been a bit unpredictable, and in order to thank those who are working during this time, the sophomores came together. In groups, the sophomores of JAGS went out to thank different essential workers that have been working during this strange time to understand the sacrifices they are making while working. I'm Chelsea and I'm currently a junior in the JAGS program. So during junior year, the class we take is Model UN and this really helps us embody the recognizing perspectives pillar because it puts us in situations where we have to act as a certain country, such as during Model UN conferences, and you have to look through their lens and act as they would, which helps you see things differently because you're no longer looking through that USA or even your own perspective. And it helps you see why other countries or other people see things differently from the way you do. So at NISMUN, it is the National High School Model UN Conference in New York. It also has taken place in Cleveland. And I know it says national, but it's pretty international with the crowd that get, comes to it. So there are people from Italy, France, we had people from Honduras, we had people from all over the world. So it definitely focuses on recognizing perspectives because a lot of people from all over the world are there and you have to make sure that you are articulating things appropriately so you don't offend anyone and their actual personal beliefs and also the beliefs of the countries that they are supposed to be representing. My name is Lena, I'm a senior, and my capstone has a lot of different parts to it, but one of the main parts is organizing our Model UN conferences this year, which is important to me that students in our JAGS program get to experience those conferences because it's all about recognizing different countries' perspectives and being able to still work together even though you have so many differences. For example, maybe you want to end global warming, so you want to ban all fossil fuels, but um, let's say China, their economy runs on fossil fuels. So if you ban fossil fuels, that's gonna be really harmful to them. So you have to recognize that even though your perspective is let's ban fossil fuels because it's causing global warming, their perspective is we can't go without fossil fuels. Los estudiantes que tienen competencia global pueden comunicarse eficazmente, verbalmente y no verbalmente con audiencias diversas. Globally competent students can effectively communicate verbally and non-verbally with diverse audiences. Hello, my name is Sandra Bogard. I am an attorney. I've been an attorney now for 24 years. I started out as a prosecutor and uh, from that I moved on to setting up my own law firm and I now own my um, own law firm and uh, I've been doing that since 2013. My area of specialization is immigration law and I do dabble a little bit in some real estate and uh, probate law as well. How is being able to communicate effectively important in the real world? Well, if by the real world you mean today's society, communication is extremely important. And by that I mean, one has to be able to express themselves effectively, otherwise your uh, communication could be open to all kinds of interpretations and mis misinterpretations. And so, one needs to be able to provide clarity in their opinions, uh, clarity in their ideas, so that in the real world, in today's world, um, you are able to express yourself clearly and be taken seriously.
Shmoon means learning, it means fun, it means large groups, it means caucusing, it means students getting involved in global education, learning about the world, debating, arguing, writing resolutions, competing, but also cooperating. It's politics, and it's awesome. But keeping economic ties with the European Union is very important because it can not only solve our economic problems, but a lot of countries in the European Union are very reliant on Italy for a lot of trade and a lot of their own Hi, my name is Sheridan Burns, and I am the director of the service aspect of JAGS. And what we aim to do is to help students become comfortable with their skills and how they may implement those ideas and resources into helping the community locally and internationally. And so what we do in JAGS is we create different service projects to help the students gain a perspective of the world around them. Um, some of those include the Adoptive Family, where JAGS is very much engaged in the organization, distribution, and overall collection of that project. And then we also engage in many capstone projects hosted by our seniors, such as creating fleece blankets for the Akron Children's Hospital. And those projects help us gain a greater perspective of our local community and the needs of those around us. And then we always have some fun projects, such as the Haunted Hayride, which really brings our JAG students together and it helps us uplift each other um, in any way that we need. And that's what JAGS is all about.